The RPM Fusion repositories contain many free, non-free, and proprietary codecs and applications that are not contained in Fedora's own repositories. I'm going to show how to install them in Fedora 25. I'm using the XFCE version because I was unable to make a screen recording in the GNOME version, but the procedure is identical except that GNOME uses GNOME software as the default package installer. So first, uh, Google RPM Fusion. Then select the RPM Fusion website. Now click on the phrase Enable RPM Fusion on your system. And you'll get a graphical setup via Firefox for the RPM Fusion free and non-free for Fedora 25. First I'm going to click on the RPM Fusion free and I'm going to open with the Yumex package installer. I enter my password. Click on OK. And that installation is complete. Now I'm clicking on the RPM Fusion non-free for Fedora 25. Open that with the Yumex package installer. Enter my password. Click on OK. And that installation is complete. Now I'm going to leave that website. I'm going to take a look at the repositories that I have installed by going to Yumex. Notice that as soon as it opens, it's installing and updating the repositories. I'm going to update all of them. I'm going to enter my password. So now the changes are made. Now I'm going to click on that symbol on the upper right hand corner and click on Preferences and then click on Repository so I can see what I have installed. 
notice that not all of them are checked. It is rawhide and testing that are unchecked. You can check those if you wish. I'm going to check the Fedora Cisco Open H264 repository. I'm going to, I'm going to click on OK. It's reloading that change. So that's done. Now, just as an example, I'm going to install VLC, the VLC media player, which is not available in Fedora repositories. I'm going to select VLC, VLC core, and VLC extras for the x86 64-bit versions and click on the little gears on the upper right. That's what's going to be installed. I'm clicking on OK. Now I'm going to pause the video a bit so you don't have to watch this entire process. Yes, I want to import this key. This is a little bit more extensive than usual because I'm installing the VLC extras also. All right, now VLC is installed. So I'm going to exit the yum extender and I'm going to open VLC. No, I don't want to allow metadata network access. Continue. So there it is. VLC is open. It's ready to use. This is XRAM Tech. Thanks for watching.